Hey, what's going on, guys? Well, I'm sitting here waiting for my wife to get out of the store, and uh, I want to make a quick video on the uh, suicide knob that I got. Uh, if you're not familiar with the suicide knob, basically it mounts to your steering wheel, and it's a free rotating uh, knob. You know, sometimes they're circular, sometimes it's like a doorknob shape. This one happens to be like a, a doorknob shape, you know, a little bit. And the idea here is you use this for turning your wheel. You can turn your wheel in any direction with one hand. It's comfortable to use. I like it. I love the concept of it. Um, my grandfather used to have one on his Jeep, and I remember when I was younger, I used to always ask him about it, and I watched him drive with it. It was always very fascinating to me, you know, because it was different and weird. Uh, I think most people who have suicide knobs, they put them on custom cars and like rat rods and stuff like that, race cars. Um, but I liked it, so I wanted to try one out. And uh, the mistake I made was getting one off of eBay for five bucks shipped from China. So the problem is, is there's too much play in this one. This is a, uh, I want to say R style was what it was. It's got like a real cheap fake carbon fiber sticker on it. Um, I still love the idea of using the uh, the suicide knob and mounting it on this uh, steering wheel and I love driving with it but not this particular one this one I think the problem is that because this is adjustable there's a pin you can pull up so you can lock it down so it's out of your way in case you don't want to use it uh, because of that it's just not that stable there's too much play in it um, and then when I'm using it sometimes it rotates around a little bit and it's just it's not good so, the reason I'm making this video is to ask all the people out there if you uh, know what a suicide knob is, if you use one, and if you do happen to use one, what's, uh, what's the one you like the most? I need a recommendation, because I'm definitely replacing this piece of crap. Um, yeah, so if you happen to see the cheap ones on eBay, don't, don't bother with them, they're no good. But uh, yeah, I still love the concept though, I want to put one on the truck as well, um, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So, suicide knobs, topic for the day. Have you seen them before? Do you use them? And if you do, which ones do you use? So that's all. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a good day.